Megan, thank you. Now, a tri-state native, Joshua Boyez, originally from the Mount Oreb area, is in Las Vegas on a trip with friends right now. Joshua has been kind enough to call in this morning to talk to us. Joshua, first of all, I want to make sure I said your last name correctly. Is it Boyes or Boyez? It's Boyes. Boyes. Joshua, thank you for, for taking some time to, to call in. You had posted on, on my Facebook page this morning and let us all know that you were out there. Exactly where are you in relation to where this occurred down near the Mandalay Bay? Sure. I'm a few miles north. I'm actually at the Link Hotel, uh, which is basically between the Flamingo and Harris, uh, across from Caesars, about maybe a mile and a half, two miles north. Um, and um, the strip is basically empty right now. Yeah. Yeah. How did you, being in that area, how did you first find out about the shooting? Were you able to hear something happening? Were you somewhere else and news eventually got to you? So, actually, I was... Uh, uh, heading down to, going to head down to Phoenix because uh, I had to work in the morning. And uh, so I was getting a little rest uh, before I made my drive overnight to avoid traffic and everything like that. And I started getting uh, pings on my phone that woke me up, uh, friends checking in to make sure I was okay. So that's when I first heard about it, immediately turned on the news and went, oh, uh, this is not good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, of course, I went on my window, started looking out. Um, it wasn't anything up here, so I didn't see any people running or anything like that. Um, but it's been kind of terrifying to be so close to something so tragic. Describe that to me, that, that, that sense of, of being so near where this occurred. We're now getting reports again that it's more than 50 dead, more than 200 injured, and you are, you're sort of right there, even though you're removed from the scene, you're, you're kind of right there where it all went down. Right. Um, it's... it's it's heart-wrenching. Um, you know, we were down that way um, over the weekend. Uh, we've been all up and down the Strip. Um, some friends of mine were visiting from Cincinnati, uh, so that's why I actually made the drive up here so I could see them, because it's only about a five-hour drive from Phoenix to Vegas. Um, and we've been up and down the Strip. Um, you know, nothing's been out of the ordinary. Um, you know, it's just been, a, you know, a normal weekend in Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, we had no no idea this was going to happen. Contrast that with what you are seeing right now when you look out your window. You talk about the last couple of days, everything. We know how Vegas is at night. It's alive. It's crawling with people and cars up and down the strip and that kind of thing. Contrast that with what you're seeing now. In fact, I believe we have a picture that you posted on Facebook uh, of, of that scene. Sure. Um, so I actually did a little splurging this weekend, and I got a strip view room. And if you see the pictures, uh, the link is to the left. I'm actually in the Link Hotel, but the main, uh, like, Link building is just to my left or uh, south, and here is this to the north. Um, it looks like they have opened up the hotels. The, they did have security posted at each door. They actually had a gate um, in front of the Harris entrance. Um, those, it seems like people are moving, but I'm counting right now five people on the, uh, on the sidewalk. Um, I've been here since Thursday night. I'm, uh, I don't know if you can see um, in that picture, there's a kind of like a tent um, in front of my room. Uh, there's a bar there, and they have music till 2 or 3 a.m. Yeah. It's been eerily quiet for the past four hours. <laughs> yeah. when, you, you know, when you've gone to bed hearing music all night long, and for it just to be just deadly quiet, it's yeah. just it's creepy, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Joshua Boy is originally from Mount Oreb in Las Vegas with friends. I want to thank you first of all so much for taking some time to describe what it is like to be there. We are glad you are safe. We are glad your friends are safe and, and, and best to you and your travels ahead, Josh. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I actually just got the notification from my friends. They're at the Hilton right behind here. Um, their lo lockdown just got lifted. So I'm about to go pick them up, take them to the airport and try to make it to Phoenix and I'll be a few hours late for work, but I'm sure they'll understand. I would, I would imagine so. Joshua, again, thank you so much, and you stay safe, okay? Thanks, Bob. Lots of love to Cincinnati. Thanks, buddy.